Now to campaign 2018 and tonight election officials in five states are counting ballots in races that are widely seen as a referendum on President Trump's policies. Voters went to the polls for primary elections in Michigan, Missouri, Kansas and Washington state. And in Ohio, there was a special election to send someone to Congress immediately. Here's Mola Lenghi. The race between Republican Troy Balderson and Democrat Danny O'Connor is too close to call in Ohio's 12th district, and that's why this special election for a U.S. House seat is getting national attention. The suburban area just north and east of Columbus has sent a Republican to Congress for 35 years. In 2016, President Trump won the 12th district by 11 points, but O'Connor is confident he can usher in a blue wave. We have an opportunity to send a message about what type of country we have. Balderson has the support of President Trump, who rallied for him over the weekend. He's really smart, and he's a really hard worker. Several voters we spoke to said the president's visit did, in fact, get them to the polls for both candidates. So what do you know about him? Uh, that he supports the president. And that's all that matters to you? Yes. He's ready to put some checks and balances on the current president that I think we desperately need. The president also stirred things up in Kansas, endorsing Chris Kobach for governor with a tweet less than 24 hours before the polls opened. Kobach has made a name for himself endorsing strict immigration and voter ID laws. The incumbent governor, Republican Jeff Culver, has the support of the NRA. Michigan voters also cast primary ballots for a new governor along with their picks for House and Senate seats. Congressional and Senate contests also took place in Washington State and Missouri. The winners from Tuesday's races will be on the ballots three months from now as the GOP defends its political majorities across the nation. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, Washington.